け翼シンゴ僕たちも点を取りに行くかよしリスクを犯してでも攻めようボバングこのシンゴジャンプを見せるAuto intercept enhance with a 50% chance is always welcome, particularly as he has access to some of the best S and A ranked interception skills. Lastly, he has a 100% distance 1 2 range enhance, and that synergizes extremely well with his passive, which we'll talk more about in a bit. Now, before we talk about his passive, let's talk about his team skill Super Solidarity for Skill Type European Club Players, plus 17 to all stats. Unfortunately, it's not possible to build a team around this team skill yet, as the number of players for this archetype is rather scarce, similarly to the recent Hamburg Genzo that was just released, which did the same thing but for agility type players. Aoi's passive, however, is Penalty Master, which buffs his stats by 30% when he's inside the penalty box. It makes perfect sense when you couple it with his 1 2 distance enhanced hidden ability, which lets him get into the opponent's penalty area with just a single 1 2. Furthermore, this passive does work inside your own penalty area as well, and that makes him pretty strong if you have to hunker down in a full defensive stance. Having a robust auto interceptor outside and inside the box against corner kicks and free kicks is always beneficial. He is outfitted with two S rank skills. His main skill, S Albeze's Golden Duo, is a 1 2 capped at 445 momentum, which requires Bobong to be on the field. It takes away an important skill slot as there's only a single version of Bobong at the moment, which kind of limits the usefulness of this skill. S Nonstop Rovashata, capped at 455, is a bit of a strange shot to give him since Aoi is more than likely to shoot inside the box. Having a non distance DK shot is not quite as valuable. Both of his S rank skills aren't weak, but it doesn't make much sense to invest in them considering their limitations and considering you can give him a stronger skill elsewhere, particularly when it comes to his shot. He also comes with his best A rank dribble, 80 degree feint, which is capped at 325 momentum, which makes it similar to Eruption of Mount Fuji, but it requires much less stamina. Aoi's stats allocation isn't great, but it does the job. His shooting is ample at 7.6k, and since he'll be getting a massive bonus once he gets inside the box, that's pretty much all you need. His tech branch also looks fine with both pass and interception around the 7k range, but his speed is a bit lackluster. Do note that he comes with a huge stamina tank of 1.2k, that makes him more than capable of supporting multiple S skills in his build. For a purely offensive limit break, we suggest going with 25 shot, speed and power, and 21 pass and 4 technique. This build is usually meant for attacking midfielders and forwards, but strangely enough, it fits Aoi if you're just looking to boost up your scoring options and not much else. Otherwise, for a more balanced approach, consider sticking with 25 shot, power, and speed, but break out your technical branch into 9 pass, 9 intercept, and 7 technique. This will give you a bit over 500 in total pass and intercept at the end, both of which are things you'll need to take advantage of your auto interception ability and your 1 2s. The speed's important as well, as you want to maximize the travel distance during the post match of invincibility after you do a 1 2. Aoi's parameters look a bit average with limit breaks included, with nothing being exceptionally eye catching. Outside of the box, his S Albezi's Golden Duo can hit a total force of 45.1k, and his A Triangular Long Pass tops out at about 32.4k. 
These figures suggest that he should have no problem getting into the box since basically most of the time he's going to match up with forwards and attacking midfielders due to his position. Preferably though, you want to look for a matchup against the forward rather than against an attacking midfielder as many attacking midfielders stock up with good intercepting skills nowadays. His S bob and weave interception can hit 51.5k force, which is impressive but not quite enough to bully others, eh, but it should be more than enough to cut wide or too long passes with his hidden ability. Inside the box, he is a credible threat capable of hitting 74.4k force with right angle tornado feint shot at S99. We suggest replacing S Nonstop Rovashata with the S Right Angle Tornado Feint Shot if you intend to score with Aoi, otherwise it doesn't really matter if you replace it or not. Additionally, replacing 80 Degree Feint with S Right Angle Whirlwind Feint or Juggling Dribble if possible, as at higher levels it seems like A skills seem to fall off considerably. Uh, during Platinum and above, they just don't seem to be at quite as effective as they should be. He will need an interception as well, so it's a must to give him either the S bob and weave interception or the A bob and weave EX interception. It depends on what you have access to, and frankly the EX version of A skills are still a little useful in Platinum and above. Finish off his build with S fireball press or A bob and weave defense if you plan on going with a defensive limit break. For those that are using him in Japanese teams, you can consider replacing his A dribble with another 1-2 of your choice. Once again, we would like to emphasize that it's always best to go for the best possible skill since Aoi, the love child, has access to multiple S rank skills and plenty of stamina to burn all of, like, just go crazy with. Is Albezia Aoi better than the Lombardia version? Well, maybe, but the irony is that Babong would benefit more from playing alongside the Lombardia version due to the hidden ability buff. Is it worth to play Albezia Aoi in a Japanese team? Well, possibly if you're short on defensive midfielders or you want an extra hidden scoring option, but for the most part, the teams that would like him, like Green Japan, are, tend to be pretty stacked at defensive midfielders, so there is that. Well, is he worth pulling for? Well, as always, the answer depends on what your needs are. Bobong, Albezi's advancing key man, is a toughness-type Nigerian player that also plays for Albezi, a European club. He is surprisingly versatile for a new player as he can be played in three different positions, which are forward, attacking, and defensive midfielder. He is the first version of Bobong introduced to the game, so don't be surprised if there's not a whole lot of skills to put on him. Now, for hidden abilities, he does seem a little shortchanged by Dream Collection standards when it comes to them, since he only gets three, but as we all remember, the Dream Collection Pascal also only has three, and he's got some real busted ones. So Bobong didn't come too short here at least because he comes with Penalty Area Master which gives him 30% to all the stats in the penalty box and Mid Area Master which gives him 30% bonus to his defensive stats when he's running around the center of the field. These abilities work rather favorably with his ability to play multiple positions. He is also yet another pioneer for a new team skill type. This time he has super solidarity but for toughness type European club players at 17%. It's not as depressing compared to the skill type European club archetype as the player pool is much larger there and it's already possible to build a team as soon as the rest of the team skill pieces are released. Bobong's passive is an auto intercept enhance which will always activate in the mid area which is pretty strong if you play him as a centralized defensive or offensive midfielder and it's actually quite useful early on after kickoff if you play him at forward but only briefly. His passive synergizes quite well with his mid-area master and it improves his chances of winning the ball when auto intercept activates. His main skill is S Bobong jumping header, capped at 440 momentum, and it's a mid-tier header that is only worth investing in if you're looking to build him as a gold scoring option. And if you are, then it's a pretty good one, but not specifically because of the header, but because of everything else he has. His other sub-skills are also quite limited. S Albezi's Golden Duo requires IA to be present to be even used at all, and S Swift Interception is a generic 450 momentum intercept that, well, at least it's easy to level up, and that's pretty nice because your passive basically forces you to. For stats, Babong's stat spread is very well balanced with most of his stats around the 6k range. This plays very well with his hidden abilities since he's boosted in different areas of the pitch at diff you know, for different reasons, and that makes him a pretty unique player.
For his offensive limit break, we suggest going with 25 shot, speed and power as well as 21 pass and 4 technique. This limit break is built around the important areas required for him to function as a goal scoring threat. In this case, it's probably okay to not pump intercept as Bobanga is going to get about a 30% defensive stat boost in the mid area anyways. For his defensive limit break, we suggest going 25 tackle, intercept, speed and technique. This build will maximize his defense and mobility, improving his chances of using his auto interception as well as winning the ball in a matchup, but he will struggle to be a consistent goal scoring threat in this way. So. You know, it's a sacrifice you have to make if you do want him to be stronger defensively. Now, for Babong's parameters presentation, it's going to be a little different from our regular ones. On the left are his stats with a defensive limit break in the middle area, and on the right are his stats with an offensive limit break inside the box. Let's start looking at his defensive aspects within the middle area. His S-Swift interception can hit 57.4k, and the A long-legged tackle reaches, you know, a respectable 39.1. He's insanely strong defensively despite both his defensive skills being pretty crappy. He will be much stronger if better defensive skills are released in the future. Now, for his offensive aspects inside the box, his header parameter reaches 19.3k due to his high ball bonus, and his S Bobong jumping header hits almost 85k, which is pretty close to Catalonia Kluiver at 88k. He's definitely a goal threat based on the mentioned figure. His S99 Swift Interception hits almost 50k in the mid area, which makes him a deterrent against the 1 2 and shoot meta if he happens to match up with the opposing team's forward right after kickoff. There's no real need for a skill build section for Babong, as he is fresh off the presses, and the only skill available that you can add is the C Diving Header, which you really shouldn't even bother leveling up. That said, check out those incoming raids next Friday, because there might be a dribble there you might want to take. So, how do you feel about the character design? We're really not sure where K-Lab will take him in the future, but he feels like Margus and that he's an exclusively high ball focused player. Is Babang a key player in a European club team? Well, the jury is out on that, but considering how powerful he can be with his jumping header, it's worth looking into. Is Babang worth pulling for? Well, if you play a European club team and already have the Lombardia Aoi, I would say he's worth the price of admission. Anyway, thank you all for checking this video out. If you liked the video, please consider hitting that like button. And if you would like to check out further content from IK Subasa, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. If you guys want to join some more conversations about Captain Subasa, make sure to check out the new subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash ctdt. This was Nothing Excess with IK Subasa. I hope to see you guys soon.